What is going on, y'all? We're back with another pack open video, and now today, um, there's a few different packs in the store, and I'm like, which one do I want to record for the video, right? We have this MCS Fantasy Pack, where you could either get the quarterback Derrick Henry or free safety Donald Porham, and then uh, some fantasy, I mean, MCS packs, I guess, to get more B&D players. Uh, there's these new uh, weekly wildcard packs we could have done, which you can see on the screen here. There's like an LCD Grant Del Pit, a new strong safety. Uh, I think there's a new wide receiver. Was it Adam Pierce, I think, or something like that? Um, and then maybe I was like, maybe I can even do a Genkai Force one because I've never done that, right? I was going through everything. I was like, well, tomorrow, uh, as I'm recording this, uh, there's going to be a new Genkai Force cards out. They just uh, announced a Devontae Adams wide receiver and a Devontae Adams out of position cornerback card. So if I'm going to do a Genkai Genki, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, by the way, Force, I'm just going to say anime promo, anime uh, promo pack opening i'll just wait till tomorrow right when the new cards are released that makes more sense um obviously nfl honors are a little out of date now there's no point of doing that so it was between the weekly wild card since their new card just came out or the mcs but i was like you know what we'll probably never get an mcs thing again right like this where we can open the store we're we're probably going to get another week or something of weekly wild cards who knows i feel like we can always see this again i was like let's do this we haven't done a pack like this before uh so as you can see here it's called the mcu fantasy pack and you contain your choice of either a 95 overall out of position quarterback derrick henry or 95 overall out of position free safety daryl parham um now here's the thing who do i choose right now, it probably makes more sense to choose Donald Parham for a few reasons. One, he's a big boy, so I'm assuming he's a really good uh, out-of-position free safety because he's very tall. I'm sure they gave him nice speed. Uh, and for being a and I I could keep him for a while. On the other hand, you got Derrick Henry, right? Why would he choose a quarterback? First of all, his first out-of-position quarterback card, I wasn't a fan of. I felt like it played like crap. I know he is a running back, but like the point is he's supposed to be good at quarterback because that's the card, right? And I feel like it played like crap. I didn't even do a video on that card because I hated it so much. And also, why do you want a quarterback at B&D? Because I feel like you're constantly switching your quarterback because you know, I feel like you got to switch out every week at this point with how much quarterbacks they release. And me being a YouTuber, right? Do I really want a B&D quarterback when, like I said, I'm, I, at this point, I switch my quarterback, I feel like, every day for gameplays and stuff. Uh, so it probably would make more sense to go for the free safety Darwin Parham and have a, a free safety there for uh, maybe like a month. I could sit there for like a month at this point. I, I'm sure he won't get outdated anytime soon. But for gameplay reasons, y'all might hate me for this. For gameplay reasons, I might choose the quarterback, Derrick Henry, just so I can do a gameplay on it, right? No one wants to see a gameplay on a free safety, but a quarterback card, they do. So y'all might hate me for that and be like, no, choose Donald Parham. But um, yeah, I think that's going to be my decision there. But you guys are here for the pack opening, so let's open it here. And uh, yeah, y'all are going to really hate me for this. Y'all are going to really hate me for this. Here's the thing. Hold on. Let's look at stats before we make our final decision. All right. So I have the 97 Lamar, right? Who is my favorite quarterback in the game at the moment. Love Lamar. Every time he gets a new card, he's always my new favorite quarterback card because I, I think Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback in Mutt, and I think it will always be for like the next 20 years at this point. But let's see. So he is a, a few more overalls above. So we can't, we can't, like, Derrick Henry is obviously not going to have as good stats as him, but does he keep up at least? He's 6'3, so he is actually taller than Lamar. 95 speed, 95 throw power, 95 short, 92 mid, 88 deep, 92 under pressure. Throw on the run is 95, which is insane. 97 play action. He actually beats Lamar in a, a category, which play action is crazy to beat Lamar in play action. Um, I think the only weakness is that deep, right? And I think that's the reason I didn't like the first one is because when I would throw deep, it was like the worst accuracy. I would never, I can never get a deep touchdown when he was at my quarterback. But he does have good throw under pressure, which you need this year, and throw on the run. Um, so honestly, not the worst. Now, let's go see Darnold Parham stats here. Um, what did he have here? What's his stats? Ooh, he's six eight. Are you serious? He is six eight. 88 Excel, 90 Tack. What's his speed? 95 speed, 92 play weight. Man, oh my god, guys. Wait, I love Ronnie a lot, though. Wait, who did I choose here? Wait. Wait. Guys, don't hate me for this. I'm sorry if y'all wanted a gameplay. That man is 6'8". There's no way I don't pick that. That man was 6'8". Man's almost 7 foot. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if we don't get a gameplay on quarterback Darren Henry. I lied to y'all. I lied to y'all. I'm sorry. I had to go with it. All right. Uh, and in this final round here, we're going to be able to pick one card that's in the pass of MCS, I guess. Uh, if you, if I missed any of these, 
which I got Kyle Pitts. I got Jonathan Taylor. And Mike, I got the big three, right? So this is kind of useless. Like, these cards are outdated. Uh, I have him. The only two cards... I actually never got these two cards. I guess we'll just go with a backup sh safety, I guess. Um, man, I thought I was going to go Derek Henry for gameplay. It's right. I'm behind on gameplays anyways. There's other cards I got to do. Uh, wasn't really necessary. Uh, and then while we're here, we're going to open this up real fast. My daily one coin. You should always do these. It's just a coin. That's not going to hurt you. And there's a chance you can get something crazy. Like, hey, I'll take that. Right? It's a B&E. But, hey, just for one coin, I'll take 89 third string running back or something. Right? Why not? Uh, and then is there anything else? Oh, oh, oh there's something else I did want to open uh, on camera. Oh, past it. Um, I finally got to the level of this. Uh, three pro playmaker packs. And I'm sure you guys want to see actual real packs in this video. So let's do these here. And uh, honestly, pro playmaker packs are usually decent. And it's three of them for 130,000 coins. I feel like we can definitely make profit here if we get a little bit of EA luck. Um, oh, let's see here. Ooh. Okay. Huh. Not looking too hot. We'll take 86. We got an AKA. 88. We'll take that. Ooh. Super Bowl. Only 86, though. Most fear. We don't care. We don't care about that. Oh, guys, I didn't want to say that EA replied to one of my uh, posts on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, it's Finesse Bailey. Uh, but it also might be Crazy Bob 55 because that's what my Twitter name was originally, and you can't actually change your tenic real name, I guess. But I did change it. What it like? Where everyone the visible name is Finesse Bailey, right? So either Finesse Bailey like my YouTube or Crazy Bob 55. Go follow away. I'm gonna start posting on Twitter. But I posted a Madden clip, and they responded, "Respect EA did." Uh, I thought that was cool. So go check that out. I thought forgot to say that i don't think i posted that anywhere yet that they uh replied to one of my posts and i doubt any of you guys follow me on twitter because i only have 11 followers i just really got onto it so uh i thought that was kind of cool for ea actually acknowledging one of my clips um all right the second one ooh, i love this animation by the way i know these cards are usually not the greatest the wild cards or whatever but that animation might be my top three favorite card animations this year roast me if you want i love that animation we don't care about that i've never seen that card actually 89 will take oh we got a redux this could be a nice little pull here 87 i feel like every time i get a redux it's this guy he's the most popular redux i swear he is oh man and then we're gonna end off in an 83 walter payton how much is 89 going for oh nothing holy cow 89s are going for nothing i guess it is late and but but lordy 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 um and i think we got one more right i think we do got one more yeah we do got one more here and let's say um all right not looking too hot. Ooh, at 88. 83. Ooh, the new anime promo. That animation is also sick. Horrible card, though, but sick animation. Uh, that's not going to really help us. Not going to help us. And we're ending off in a crappy legend. Uh, okay. So the three pro, pro, pro playmaker pack's not too bad. Uh, and then, oh, what else? Wait, hold on. I want to check something. Oh, you can buy these with, um, with coins. Okay. I might do one of these. I'll do one of these since if I can pull one of the new cards. and ju I'm just doing a singular one. I know the chances are low, but just for fun. I got to get more coins, too. I got to start selling some cards. There's that animation. 88. We'll take it. We'll take it, honestly. There's another. Oh, dude, the animation is beautiful. 86. And then an AK. 87, though. Uh, we'll take that. We got an 88 and an 86. Um, yeah, some fun cards, like I said. And that is going to be it for today, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, leave a like. Uh, it helps push out the video for others that are not subscribed to my channel to find my channel and find this video. And, yeah, always helps me. That's all I got to do. It takes a second of your time. Also, subscribe if you like Madden content because we post Madden content on this channel, whether it's pack openings, gameplays, theme teams, we do streams, whatever it is. I also post uh, Fortnite content. I post Rainbow Six Siege content. I'm even starting to post Overwatch content again. So I do a lot of games. So if you're a fan of any of those games, just hit that subscribe button. You're going to get a lot of videos from me, uh, whether it's videos, shorts, a bunch of stuff. I'm constantly on that grind. Or um, while I'm recording this video, we're at 980 subscribers. So 20 more subscribers and we hit a thousand if you want to be you know that first a thousand subscribers on my channel hit that subscribe button you can you can always be for the rest of history that hey i was in finesse bailey's first a thousand subscribers but anyways hope you guys enjoyed until next time Beep.